Hello and welcome again to our channel and today we will discuss the intermediate uh, Kali Linux uh, uh, commands and the uh, Kali Linux uh, fundamentals. So before we dive into the commands, uh, let's start by uh, checking uh, the applications. So as you can see here, there's a lot of uh, tools inside the Kali Linux. Uh, as an estimation, there's uh, 300 plus uh, hacking tools inside the Kali Linux. So, from information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application, use for web, uh, database assessment for use for uh, database hacking, password attacks, use for password cracking, and uh, password uh, brute force, wireless attacks, use for uh, Wi Fi uh, hacking, reverse engineering uh, for, uh, of course, reverse engineering, exploitation tools. Sniffing, and spoofing, post exploitation and forensics, reporting tools, social engineering, and system service. So, uh, this is the usual applications, which is uh, the usual uh, application that you are using uh, within a computer, such as the web, uh, the web browser, and uh, the office uh, accessories. So. Uh, this time in Kali Linux. Uh, you usually use in an application by just uh, pressing the Windows button, then uh, probably uh, searching it from the computer. But uh, in here, uh, this is not really like that because uh, you need to, for example, you will use SQL map. So you need to type it here in the terminal. Then as you can see, once we type it, it will tell you uh, what uh, option or what is the commands that you need to use in order to use this tool uh, accordingly. So, for example, in here, Python 2, SQL map, option, blah, blah, blah. So, you can type this dash H so that uh, you can have a grasp on, on how to use that kind of tool. So, most of the tools here uh, is command line. So, you need to be, uh, you need to learn about how to use uh, and on how to study this kind of uh, tools because uh, in order for you to adapt to every kind of tools that uh, you will be using here in Kali Linux because most of it is in the terminal. Well, there's uh, some of the tools that is not uh, within the terminal such as the burp suit. So, but most of it is in the command line. So yeah, let's uh, dive into the command line. So first of the commands that you need to know is the okay that's the app update and the app this the, the app upgrade and the app this upgrade so what is the difference between these uh, commands Usually, if you're not user, a uh, root user, you need to add sudo in order for you to run these commands as root user. So that's the purpose of sudo. Okay. So in in our case here, uh, I do not need this sudo because I am already a root user. Okay. So because in a Linux uh, machine, there is a root user and a user. So, a user is a limited access, while the root user is, well, the root is, uh, it has all of the access within the machine. So, that's the difference between the root and the user. So, now, what is the difference between the update, upgrade, and this upgrade? So, the update, what it does is, it goes to the sources list, which is, Inside the sources list is the websites of the server that is uh, it is using. So, for example, in here, the sources uh, list of uh, 
Her caddy is in here. So yes, it's here. And um, as you can see here, this is uh, the website that it is using for a source to their uh, server. So in here, uh, just uh, all of the line that has hashtag is commented out. So you just need to stay focused in this lines okay so that's where the this machine uh, get the latest version for each software or each package that you have so technically this app update uh, job is to get the latest uh, version of the uh, packages uh, within the server okay so it will store the latest version data inside your machine after doing the sudo up update so now uh, the latest version of the all of the packages in their server is inside your machine so what uh, will happen now that will be the time that you need to upgrade. So, what is the up, uh, use of upgrade? So, it will check the number 3 in the sudo update, which is this. It will check uh, what is the latest version based on the sudo update. That's why in every upgrade, you need to sudo up update first before sudo up upgrade okay then after that uh, after checking what is the latest version then that will be the time that it will upgrade all of the packages based on the uh, latest version so for example uh, you have uh, LibreOffice uh, LibreOffice 4 and uh, based on the sudo up up update there is already LibreOffice 5 so technically uh, sudo up upgrade will see that and automatically this LibreOffice uh, 4 that you have in your machine will be upgraded to LibreOffice 5 okay so that's how it works however why we need this this upgrade why because this this upgrade okay let's tell first uh what will be the problem in sudo up upgrade so technically in every upgrade and any upgrade in any operating system uh, that you are upgrading there will be some broken dependencies so what is this broken dependencies these broken dependencies are mostly uh some errors or some uh conflicts in the upgrade so for example you upgrade this software and the other software is not uh, it's not uh, agreeable in that uh, kind of a uh, kind of upgrade so this uh, some software will not work if you upgrade this so yeah that's the broken dependencies so it is a problem so this this upgrade is the solution so it has smart conflict resolution so this smart conflict resolution is just it's like an AI or it's like a, an automatic uh, conflict res uh, that the perfect term here is it automatically uh, resolves all of the conflicts however it is not 100% 100% uh, error free okay so the most important thing here is you deduct the possible errors so for example when you should upgrade there's a uh, for example uh, 50 errors when you use this this upgrade 
it can be deducted into just 10 errors or 5 errors. So yes, there is a little more a uh, little more error but uh, at least uh, you deduct it. Okay? So that's the use of this upgrade. So the lesson here is you must sudo up update first when you are up, you, when you are upgrading your operating system sudo up update first then this upgrade. Okay, so uh, why upgrading is very important because uh, when you do not upgrade your operating system, uh, probably you're leaving your weapon, which is your Kali Linux OS, uh, you're leaving it vulnerable. Okay, because uh, every outdated version of OS can be uh, vulnerable to attack. So why? Because uh, mostly, most of the vendors is uh, patching or upgrading their operating system because uh, they found a security vulnerability on uh, their operating system. So that's why they are upgrading, they are fixing, they are updating their operating system. So it's very important for us to upgrade occasionally our operating system such as this, the Kali Linux, because it is our primary weapon. So yeah, that's it for today and uh, uh, tune in uh, for uh, tomorrow's another lesson.